Well, hey girl, if you are looking for the best hair texturizing products on the market, then I am inviting you to stick with my video today because we are talking about two of my favorites, the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray and then the Big Sexy Play Dirty Texturizing Spray today in my video. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of both. We're gonna talk price and we'll even talk about how they work and I'll give you a little bit of a demo. Stay tuned, it's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel if you've been here for a bit. If you are new, I am super pumped that you are here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't, both internally and externally. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday, and every fourth Tuesday of the month. Well, I am pumped for the month of August because I wanted to spend some time talking about hair. Um, I get a lot of questions on Instagram and Facebook and in my Facebook group that I have with all these other girls about hair products and things of that nature, hairstyles, hair tutorials. So I thought this month would be a perfect time to go over some of my favorite products and then also give you guys a couple videos coming up in the future um, on some hairstyles. So today I want to start with actually talking about texturizing products for your hair. I don't know about you, but like... For me, I have to have a good texturizing product and um, I have two that I really love and so I wanna share with you what they are. So they are, if you missed the intro, the first few seconds, they are the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray and then I have the Big Sexy Texturizing Spray as well and this one is called Play Dirty. Now these are two very different texturizers so we're gonna talk a little bit about what makes them different um, but these are my two favorite that I've had for the last, um, Last little while, actually. I've been using Big Sexy for a couple years, and I had some different ones a couple years ago that I just kind of retired because I found the Big Sexy one and was like, whoa, this is way different and way better than what I was using and actually gave me some really good texture. And then the Orave line is something that I've recently learned about from um, going to the hair salon that I go to, and a lot of my products are turning over to Orave. Um, so I cannot wait to share some details with you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I pulled up some stuff here on my laptop about Big Sexy, so let's start with that one. Um, so what this is is actually a wax spray and what they say about this is that you can use this to achieve like a chic look for like second day hair shoot I've done it for third day hair fourth day hair all of that works it's gonna give you an exceptional hold and then of course a shine and it says play dirty gives texture dimension separation and a semi shine without product buildup or stickiness on the hair so again I love this product and I want to show you how it works but the one thing I don't agree with is the stickiness on the hair. That's probably my biggest complaint about this product, um, even though I love it, and this is why I kind of started using this because it doesn't do that. But the reason it feels that way is because it is a waxy product. I mean, I can feel holding my, my bottle here that there's some, there's some grit to it and some tackiness. So what I do typically when I use this, and just so you know, I literally have freshly washed hair. Um, I did all of my blow dry techniques that I normally do. I can link that video for you above on how I get voluminous hair. Um, ran a straightener through it, and of course use these products. The one that I use today, um, or uh, the ones that I use today are actually all Orbe, but I have not put any texturizing products on my hair today. Stay tuned for future videos though, because I am gonna talk about all the products that are currently in my hair today that we're not gonna go over. So with this one, what I do is I'll typically just spray my hand like so and then I'll just kind of grab my hair and run it over some of those pieces turn that mirror up a little bit and you can see it gives it texture immediately it looks really good with curly hair by the way but even on my straight hair where I don't have a lot going on it just gives some some texture now again I feel that it is a little sticky. This, there's nothing on this hand here, but I can feel that there's a little something. So I wouldn't say, it, it maybe sticky is the wrong word. I would say that you can feel that it's a bit tacky. And the only hard part about it is that once you put it in there, if you kind of tousle your hair and mess with it, you can almost get these sections that kind of stay like bunched up back here. And I don't like that because it looks really, I like messy hair, but it looks almost a little too unmanicured. So that is my only thing about that one. And it's probably just because of the fact that this is a wax product. Um, I don't know if I shook it before I sprayed it. I hope I did. You're supposed to shake it before you spray it. If I didn't, ah, oh well. So let me show you the Orbe. And this one, I, like I said, I'm so in love with these products, um, the Orbe line lately, and uh, I can thank my hairstylist for that. So, <laughs> 
But this one um, says it's a bigger, better, full-on glamorous hair. This invisible dry hairspray builds an incredible volume and sexy texture. Um, and then it says that it's one of those things that you can actually use as an alternative to dry shampoo. I have not tried it as a dry shampoo. I'm looking for a texture spray. I love the dry shampoo that I use, which is a Redken brand, and I've done a video on that that I can link for you above as well. Um, so I haven't used it for that. I'm honestly just using it for texture. That's why I bought it. Like when I read that they're like, oh, you can, you know, you can replace your dry shampoo. It's a great alternative. I'm like, mm, that's not what I'll be using it for. So let me show you how that one works. And I wish I had something to clean my hand off because I want to use the same hand. So we'll try. But I essentially do the same thing with this one. And you know what? We'll just spray the right hand. I just feel like this hand's not as, this is my hand that's here for aesthetic only. So I don't know what to do with it. Okay. So I'll just spray my hand like that. And same thing. I'll just grab it and just find pieces that I just want a little texture on. And for me, this one just looks a little bit more natural and kept. And let me say this, one of the reasons I really love this brand is that the smell of these products is unbelievable. Like I almost wish there was a perfume or a lotion or something that I could buy because I just wanna sit and smell my hair as I have these products in because they smell that amazing. So um, I am just, I love this stuff. Sometimes I just like will go in my bathroom and, and spray on the anti-humidity spray that they have too, just for a little extra smell. So anyway, there's the smell is great. So this is kind of the um, the look that you get with this one. It's just, it's, it's textured, but it's just a little less tousled maybe than what this is over here, where this still feels a little tacky to me and it almost feels somewhat heavy. I like it, I still use it a lot, but I just, lately, I have been kind of migrating towards this one. Um, so let's actually talk price about these because that's really the big difference. And if you're like me and you like a bargain, this is where you might struggle. This is where you're like, you're gonna like live in the tension here of your products. So the big sexy you can actually get on Amazon for 10 bucks. Um, I've seen it as high as like 12, 13. I think at Ulta it's like 15 or 16, which is crazy. That's why I love Amazon because I typically can find that my products are cheaper on Amazon versus going into Ulta or Sephora or the hair salon. I can just find them a little bit cheaper. So you also get 4.8 ounces of this product for that $11, um, roughly $11 mark. And it lasts, like it's taken me forever. I don't have a lot left in this bottle, but I've had it for a long time and I use it pretty much, not every day, but I, I use it a lot. We'll just say on average, I use my texturizing products when I you know, actually do my hair for the week, but I might use those three or four days out of the week. So it's a long time. So the Oribe is not as cost effective and that's why it's a little bit tough for me. Like that's why I said I have two, these are the two that I love because I'm a, thrifty girl like I just hate to spend money sometimes and sometimes it's like I have a certain budget that I can spend for videos for everything else for the month which is why you see that this is a travel size this month because I wanted to make sure that I could get all these products for this video uh, for the other videos too and I was like I cannot do the big bigger bottles so let me just say um, this is a 2.2 ounce bottle and it goes for 22 bucks on Amazon if you did the full size of this one, it would be 8.5 ounces for 46 bucks. So that's still a lot in comparison to getting, I mean, you get, I guess technically you get twice the product um, of the Orbe if you bought the 8.5 ounce for 46 bucks, but this is still 10 something for four. So even if you doubled that, eight ounces would be to 20, so 20 something dollars, you could buy two of these and you still wouldn't even have one of the full size. So that's the only negative about this one is that it just is more of a higher end product. I love it um, and I also use it, you know, I try to use them sparingly. They seem to last pretty well. The other reason I bought travel sizes is because we're going to St. Louis this month um, for my brother's wedding and I needed to be able to take all of my products with me. I'm grabbing the other products so I'm getting ready to film other videos, but I needed to be able to take all of my travel size like products and that's what I mean. I need to be able to get in the, on the plane with them and not have them throw away products that I've spent good money for. You know what I'm talking about? Thank you, TSA. So um, I got the travel sizes. So that is basically a wrap then on these products and what I think of them. And if you want to, in the comments, what I would love to know from you is which one of these products that we've talked about today do you wanna try as a texturizer? And if you've never tried a texturizer before, which one of these products maybe you think might be a good one for you? And if you currently use other texturizers that are not these, I always love to know what you guys are using, so let me know down in the comments.
and I think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video so thank you so much for watching if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos and of course connect with me on social media it is my favorite place to get to know you and I of course will see you in my next video hashtag reform tomboy family I'll see y'all soon Thank you.